probably tell we are somewhere completely different. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had a plan to go do some snowshoeing with Argo here today. Um, after having a productive morning on the bathroom, figured I'd get out, enjoy some of the sun. Nice warm weather. Gosh, it's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is I think about six, six degrees Celsius, something like that. But I had a plan. I was gonna go actually go back to an area. I'm gonna check this out here while I'm rambling. Um, that I went to once last summer for my radio stuff. Figured that might be a cool area if I wanted to. Look at that beaver cut down that big old tree. And obviously couldn't couldn't manage it. That was a couple more beaver chewed down trees over there. So anyway, when I got <coughs> to the road, um, where I turn off of the, I don't know if it's called a highway, a county road, anyway, it was a, normally a dirt road, and I figured there'd hopefully, hopefully there'd be somewhere to park. There wasn't, but the road had been plowed and cleared because there was a logging operation there. But <laughs> this warm weather, I should say it's plowed, but it still was a layer of snow. And so with the uh, warm weather, the road was quite soft. And I really didn't feel like getting stuck. <laughs> so it turned into something a little different. Oh, here, I'm gonna pause this here. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, I think I was saying I had to change plan. So I actually went, uh, I wasn't too far away, so I went down and just checked out Pickford. I've never been there before. Then I was going to go uh, check out. Ooh, ooh, okay. This snow is not packed. <laughs> Um, where the uh, the ferry goes across here to Nebish Island, but there is some event today, and there's nowhere to park. I didn't even know there was an event. It was full of people. I don't know what the event is or what's going on, but whoop. wow, this is. This is some snow. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that was deep. So then I came up here and I'm at Dunbar Park. That's where I'm at right now. And right across the way here is the Nebish Island. I've never been here. So this is my First time seeing it. Don't know that I'm brave enough to actually go out on the ice, although you see all kinds of snowmobile tracks. I'm just, <laughs> it's all new to me and it's warm today. I'm not even going to go playing about my hands. That's how you know it's warm. <laughs> I'll zoom in a bit. Not a whole lot to see over there. At least on this end of the island. But uh, right here is the downbound channel that the large freighters go through when they're downbound on the St. Mary's River. And over there on the other side is the upbound channel. I zoom in a little more. Hopefully you can see there's like more river over there. So it's kind of neat. Like I said, just 
never been here, never seen it. I figured I would take a look, check it out. I hear lots of snowmobiles down there. Maybe there's a race. And that's what all the people are down there for. I don't know. But there are uh, benches here. See, there's one. Another one here. Assuming for people to watch the freighters go by. Hot dog. Come on up. Up, up. Being a good boy, now he's giving me the butt. Where we go? Where we go? Oh, sit. Oh, geez. Okay, thank you. Yes. Oh, so many kisses. <laughs> he's been protesting being stuck in the truck so much. But I think actually there's a side by side that's stuck. Over here, so I might walk over there. Don't know what I can do, but see if I can. I don't know that I want to drive. Oh, here comes a snowmobile. Snowmobile on the ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. All right. What do you think of that, Argo? <laughs> what do you think, dog? <laughs> First thing we got here. Oh, we gotta do is wiggle. That's not the first thing we got here. That's his first wiggle since we got here. Feel better? Well, more. See, he's wearing just that really light jacket. That's the one we had from Oregon. Um, it's fleece inside, but it's cordure on the outside, so it's mostly a raincoat, but it's pretty tough. Yep. <laughs> People are like, how dare you take that dog out in the snow without boots or a heavy coat and look at him. He's just loving it. Just loving it. <laughs> You're silly. Is that what you wanted? You wanted to get the wiggles out? Need some snow? <laughs> While he wiggles. I'm just going to pan around here. Um, what you see on the other side is Canada. Other side of the river there, past the island. Ah, this is kind of neat. I'm going to have to come back here when shipping season starts and they allow traffic in this downbound channel. So I was hoping to see, because right down there is where they did the rock cut. They cut out the channel allow the ships through. Oh, you're all tangled up, dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to go over there, see if I can help these people out, and uh, be on our way, I think. Be about time to get back home-ish. Do more... Uh, more mudding on my drywall. It's starting to look like something, so that uh, is encouraging. So, Whip, quit rambling. And proceed on, right, dog? Right, Argo? You silly dog. You silly dog. All right, and uh, that's kind of a neat shot. I'm going to have to come back down here with the big camera and record the ships coming through here. I bet that's pretty neat. I bet it is. I want to find out. Yep. <laughs> okay. Enough rambling. Argo and I. Argo and I. We will uh, we'll see you later. Have a great day. Stay warm.
It's easy on a day like this. <laughs>